So, good morning, everyone. Um, as Larry said, I work with the Nature Conservancy, and first of all, I wanted to say thank you as well. Um, this is my third ASFPM conference, and uh, so I'm a relative newbie to, to the issues of flood policy and flood, issue, flood risk, and I've really learned everything I know from coming here and interacting with all of you and maintaining some of the relationships that I've developed through, um, through association with this organization. So um, not surprisingly, what I'll spend my few minutes talking about today is um, the, really the theme that nature is an essential component for enhancing resilience. Um, so the, the mission of the Nature Conservancy is to um, preserve, protect the lands and waters on which life depends. Um, and really this notion that nature provides essential services that are um, really underpinning uh, life on Earth is, is really um, what we're all about. And for this issue, what I focus most of my time on is thinking about federal, state, local policy, how can we mainstream the notion that nature can provide this risk reduction value related to floods? Um, and really thinking across all federal programs and federal policy um, and state and local, and how can we bolster this notion that nation, that of the value that nature plays. So at its simplest um, level, it's really, we need to protect these natural systems um, that exist. We need to protect river systems and their natural, um, the way that they naturally function. Um, we need to protect the floodplains and the connectedness to the river systems, both for um, enhancing and protecting nature, but also for providing these other essential services, most importantly, flood risk reduction. Um, and same in the coastal environment. So, I mean, these systems are, are uh, inherently dynamic. Um, and we need to maintain that, those dynamic systems as much as possible. And so we need programs that simply conserve and protect those systems in the way that they are. Um, but we know, we live in a world where a lot of these natural systems have been altered. Um, and so does nature have a role to play there, even in highly urbanized um, environments? And, you know, obviously we think the answer to that is yes, nature does have a very important role to play in those systems as well. So there we shift more to kind of a restoration type of uh, perspective and how can we restore these systems or even engineer nature into, uh, into these systems as a way to provide um, these multiple benefits. So, um, you know, Obviously, flood risk reduction um, can help uh, uh, provide the, um, the rationale for including nature in a lot of these altered systems, um, but there's a lot of other co-benefits that people don't necessarily think of front and center, water quality be benefits, even just aesthetics and community uh, 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 kind of quality of life benefits that really um, come along with uh, the use of nature in these, in these systems. Um, so um, resilience really at its core is about uh, the whole community, it's about um, the people, um, the economy of that um, community, and the environment, all those three coming together. And I think in the past, the mistakes have been made when we focus on only one aspect of that equation. We only look at maybe the human, or we only look at the economic, or um, so, you know, examples of that are when we've built um, hard infrastructure and we are focused on uh, one um, value that that hard infrastructure is, is providing. Um, in, you know, in flood risk reduction, it's been building um, seawalls or dams or levees, and we're looking solely or primarily at, at really that flood protection value, um, but not thinking about the environmental or economic necessarily 
pieces of that equation. Um, and unfortunately, uh, when you look at it that way, you're really usually uh, creating a detriment to those other aspects. So you're creating a detriment to the environment. You're creating um, perhaps detriments economically as well. So, um, so the message I want to leave is really uh, we need to think about all three of those aspects. We need to think about human. Um, we need to think about economic. We need to think about environmental. We need to think about maximizing multiple benefits um, when we're uh, thinking about flood resilience. And that way we really can enhance and, and lift up the resilience of communities if we do focus on that, may have that broader view and broader perspective. So thank you.